Hi, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how to post a final exam grade in Infinite Campus and also the final grade for the class. Now, this will apply to either a half year course or a full length course that's a full year long. You're going to be going through the same process. So, whether it's the end of the second quarter and you need to post the grade for the second quarter, and then you need to post a final exam grade and then a final grade for the course, or whether it's at the end of the year where you're posting a fourth quarter grade, a, maybe a final exam grade, and then a final grade for the course, we're going to be doing the same thing. So I'm going to show you how to do those in this video. So for this example, I'm going to say I'm in marking period two, and let's just say that this course is ending. It's a half year course, and I'm going to go over here, and it's right now currently on the marking period grade. This is the standard grade book for the second quarter. I need to post a grade for this class. So to see that from here, what I can do is I can expand this box right here where it says grade totals, click that, and then you'll see the summary of all of your grades for different categories. Then if I go over here, slide this slider over at the bottom, I'm gonna see what it says right here, and this is the total in progress points overall for this quarter. So next what I can do is I can post the grades for the second quarter, and again, this would also apply to the end of any quarter. You're gonna go over here to where it says post. So you wanna make sure that you're checking the term and it's on the proper quarter that you want and the students are correct, and then you would hit OK down at the bottom. I'm not going to do that at this time. So we have one thing accomplished off our list, and that was get the quarter grade into the report card. Next, what we want to do is go up here to the final exam, and I'm going to click on final exam. When you bring up this page, you're going to see that these columns are already blank, and what you'll need to do is go in and actually type in the percentage and grade in each of these columns. So you can click in type a number in and hit the down key on your keyboard and that will be a little faster than trying to use this drop down box to find a specific score. So the way we have it set up here at Fleetwood, what you're going to do is really match the percentage and grade for this final exam. So just make sure you go through and that these numbers match each other as you go down. Once you're finished with that, you're going to go over here and click the save button. Okay, so the last thing that you need to do is post a final grade. So when you open up the final grade, it should look like this and it's going to be blank. This hasn't been done yet in this example. So when you get to this page, you're seeing right here the average for the quarters. And this is what you're going to post. So you would go over here and click post. And at this point, again, if this is a half year class, you would do this in marking period two. If this is a full year course, you would do this in marking period four. You would hit OK down here when you're ready to post that. So now you should see those scores posted right here for the final grade. Let's talk about comments for a second. If you want to leave comments, there are three different types of comments that you could leave at this point. You can leave a comment that's attached sort of to the overall final grade, and that would go right here. If you go up here to the task and you change it to the marking period grade, these are going to be the comments that go home with the report card for that particular quarter that you're on, whether in this case it's the second quarter or whether it's the fourth quarter, they're going to go right here and those comments would fill in right there. Also for the final exam, if there's some special note that you want to put on there for a comment, you can also put a comment for the final exam. So just keep in mind that there's kind of three different things you need to think about when you're finalizing those grades for either the end of the second quarter or end of the fourth quarter. Hope that video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. You can always reach me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Until next time, have a great day.